A couple of days ago, my Nokia Lumia 930 received the Windows 10 update from Windows Phone 8.1. So in this quick video, I'm just going to explain how you can get this Windows 10 update, how the installation process was, and how I've generally found it. So it's quite easy to get the Windows 10 update. You can't, however, just simply go into settings and then choose check for updates. You've got to have the upgrade advisor installed on the phone and then get it to check for updates before the device will install Windows 10. From there, the download was relatively quick, although my internet connection here is quite fast. But nonetheless, I wouldn't be worried about that at all. And then the installation process after that was once again quite swift. However, the progress bar did sit at a fairly early on stage for quite a long time. So I almost thought it had semi-frozen. However, once it sort of cleared through that hurdle, it then proceeded through the rest of the installation relatively quickly. And one or two restarts later, I was then presented with the usual Windows 10 start screen. So now in terms of the start screen itself, it's very much as before really, um, except now all of the tiles are in the colour theme as opposed to before where one or two of them just seem to stick with the, actually sort of the app developer's colour rather than actually the theme colour. General application performance is much the same as well. So the loading of apps and general multitasking performance is very similar as is general phone startup performance. Meanwhile, the biggest change possibly comes in terms of the settings menu, which now makes a great deal more sense with things split into logical categories as opposed to really just a long list with still sub menus that existed prior. Furthermore, the ability to easily search within the menus is a welcome bonus as well. Additionally, the design of the main browser for the phone, Microsoft Edge, has changed slightly. So once again, there seems to be a slightly more refined, detailed design on the bottom sort of address bar. However, in operation, it is very much the same. However, I have noticed that when I set the browser to load the desktop version of Sites, it will now load YouTube's dashboard without any problems, whereas previously the YouTube dashboard would say that I'm still trying to access the mobile version of the site which doesn't exist even when I had, like I said, the browser set to only display the desktop page so from a YouTube creator perspective that is actually quite a nice feature however in general it seems very much that this update hasn't very changed very much and that isn't really a bad thing because Windows Phone is quite good at kind of what it does, it's quite performant, quite reliable and kind of just does the things that I needed to do really and has the amps I need. So I wasn't really expecting that much of a change really because a massive change wasn't really all that required. So um, thanks for watching this video. If you have any other ideas of things that might have changed, because I can't guarantee you've noticed everything despite having used this phone for quite a while now, uh, let me know in the comments and yeah, thanks again.